I have an A.O. Smith signature water heater, gas water heater, and I'm replacing the thermostat gas valve unit. Um, first you want to, and I don't know if it's the first thing you need to do, but I turned the gas off, which right now it's off. And then they recommend that you um, drain the water. So you want to turn off the valve going into the water heater up there then you hook your hose which I've already done it you hook your hose to the the drain outlet here at the bottom and then let it drain And then what you want to do is you want to disconnect all your connections, which I've, I've disconnected the two wires. This was hooked up here, and this one is the uh, pilot igniter. You just pull that out. Um, actually, I forgot to mention, you need, you need to switch that off before you start which I, I did already and then you're going to after you get that stuff disconnected you need to disconnect uh, I don't know if you can see those two connections here at the bottom you need to disconnect those also and then you're going to disconnect the uh, gas line which I've got it I've got it already already taken apart, so you're gonna disconnect this, and then um, this was uh, I don't know if this was installed already on the water heater, or if I had the person put it in when I had it installed. But you want to take that out, and then uh, I'm gonna pause here for a minute because I need to go get a tool to to take the unit off. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything disconnected. Now I just need to take the unit off. And I watched a couple of different videos on how to do this. And one of them recommended that you get a piece of pipe that uh, is this size that goes in in the gas line connection. Uh, an actual piece of, short piece of pipe to, to turn that off with. Uh, another, another video showed somebody with some big old wrench thing that um, they put on here and and took it off with um, but I don't have a pipe and they they suggest that just so that you don't mess up um, your your connection right here but uh, so to take this off I'm not really worried about messing it up so I've, I've just got a a larger uh, chisel type tool that I'm going to stick in there and take it off and to, to remove it you're going to push you're going to push down to take it off but I'll turn the video off so that I can get that off and uh, I'll be right back okay I've got the new part put in and as you can see I found a piece of tube so that I could put in there and turn it and tighten it down so I've I've got that all tightened down and just to show you this is the old part that I just pulled out so I guess yeah it was it was in need of being replaced so now I just need to hook everything back up, put all the lines, the two lines back there, connect the two wire connections, put the gas line back on, and then turn the water on to fill it back up. So as soon as I get that done, I will 
Be back. Okay, everything's hooked back up. No leaks. Water tank is full. Then, I've already done it, but once you get everything hooked back up, you want to set the dial to pilot, hold it in, push the igniter button until the pilot light goes on or your status light starts blinking. Then you can let it go. Oops. Sorry. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there it goes. The pilot light is lit. Once you've got it going, the, the status light blinking one time means all is good. So then we want to set the dial to where you want it and the flame lights up. And you can't see it. There you go. You can see it. To heat up your water. And there you have it. Mission accomplished. Then I just need to put the cover back on over here. And we're all set to go. Thanks for watching.